Hi friends! Today we will be learning some more divisibility rules. So let's start. We know we will be starting with number 5. How do we find that a given number will be divisible by 5 or not? It is a very simple rule. Any number that ends with 0 or 5 or a number that has a 0 or 5 in its ones place will be divisible by 5. I repeat, any number that has 0 or 5 in its ones place is divisible by 5. Here we have some numbers and we will find out whether or not it is divisible by 5. 5 will be definitely divisible by 5. 10, ones place is 0 so it is divisible by 5. 9, no. This is not divisible by 5 because it's a ones digit number and other than 5, it is not divisible by 5. 8. No, this is not divisible by 5. 15. The ones place is 5, so yes, it is divisible by 5. 16. Ones place is 6, so it's not divisible by 5. 29. Ones place is 9, so it's not divisible by 5. 30. The ones place is 0. So it is divisible by 5. 50. Yes, this is also divisible by 5. 99. No, because 1's place is 9. 105. Again, this is divisible. 112. No, because 1's place is 2. 2004. No, because the 1's place is 4. 2005, yes, this is divisible because the ones place digit is 5. 5008, no, because the ones place digit is not 0 or 5. 5600, yes, because the ones place digit is 0. Therefore, it is very simple to find whether or not a number is divisible by 5. You just have to check if the ones place digit is 0 or 5. Now let's move on to the next number. 6. We'll be learning how to find out whether or not a number is divisible by 6. We have already learned the rules of divisibility for 2 and 3. The rule to find whether a number is divisible by 6 is if that number is divisible by both 2 and 3, then the number is also divisible by 6. Yes, I repeat, if a number is divisible by 2 and 3, then that number is also divisible by 6. Now, let's learn with an example. Our first number is 350. We have to find out whether it is divisible by 6. The rule says that if the number is divisible by both 2 and 3, it is divisible by 6. Let's check to see if it is divisible by 2. We learned that a number is divisible by 2 if it has 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8 in its 1's place. And this number has a 0 in its 1's place. So yes, it is divisible by 2. Now let's find out whether it is divisible by 3. Rule says that if the sum of digits is divisible by 3, then the number is divisible by 3. Sum of digits is 3 plus 5 plus 0 equals 8. 8 is not divisible by 3, so 350 is not divisible by 3. So clearly the number is not divisible by 6 either. Now we have the next number, 354. Let's check its divisibility with 2. One's plate digit is 4, so yes, it is divisible by 2. Now we will check whether it is divisible by 3. According to the rule, the sum of digits should be divisible by 3. Sum of digits is 3 plus 5 plus 4 equals 12. And 12 is divisible by 3. So this number is divisible by 2 as well as 3. Therefore, it is divisible by 6. You can check your answer. 354 divided by 6 equals 59. So yes, it is divisible by 6. Here we have another number. It is 2736. Let's check if it is divisible by 2. 
the ones place digit is 6. So yes, it is divisible by 2. Now let's check if it is divisible with 3. Let's find out the sum of digits. 2 plus 7 plus 3 plus 6 equals 18. 18 is divisible by 3. 18 divided by 3 equals 6. So this number is divisible by both 2 and 3. So yes, this number is divisible by 6. You can always check your answer. Here we have our next number, 39. We have to check if it is divisible by 6. Let's check the number 2. The ones place digit is 9, so it is clearly not divisible by 2. We need not check if it is divisible by 3, because the number must be divisible by 2 and 3. Therefore, since it is not divisible by 2, it is not divisible by 6 either. Next number is 38. Once place digit is 8, so yes, it is divisible by 2. Now, let's check the sum of digits. 3 plus 8 equals 11, so it is not divisible by 3. And as per the rule, it must be divisible by both 2 and 3, so it is not divisible by 6. The next number is 36. Once place digit is 6, so yes, it is divisible by 2. Sum of digits is 3 plus 6 equals 9. 9 is divisible by 3, so this number is divisible by 3. This number is divisible by 6 because it is divisible by both 2 and 3. So friends, we have learned the divisibility rule for 5 and 6. Let's learn about 7. Oh no, there is no rule to find out whether a number is divisible by 7. So, let's move on to 8. Now we will be finding out whether or not a number is divisible by 8. In the case of 8, no rule exists for numbers that have 1, 2, or 3 digits. So in the case of numbers that have 1, 2, or 3 digits, you need to use actual division. The rule only exists for numbers that have more than 3 digits. And the rule is that the number formed by the last three digits of the number must be divisible by 8 in order to confirm that the number is divisible by 8. Let's learn with an example. Here we have some numbers. We will find whether or not it is divisible by 8. First number is 2064. It is a four digit number, so our rule will work here. The number formed by the last three digits is 64. 64 divided by 8 is 8. So it is divisible by 8. The whole number should also be divisible by 8. You can check your answer by using your calculator. 2064 divided by 8 comes out to be 258. Next number is 114. This is a three digit number. And we have just learned that for numbers that have one, two, or three digits, the rule does not apply. You need to use actual division. Next number is 2,365. It's a four-digit number, so we can use the rule. As for the rule, the number formed by the last three digits should be divisible by 8. The number is 365. 365 is not divisible by 8, so this number will not be divisible by 8. The next number is 365. This is a three-digit number, so our rule will not work here. You need to use actual division to find out whether or not it is divisible by 8. Next number is 4,168. In this case, the number formed by the last three digits is 168. Check whether it is divisible by 8. 168 is divisible by 8. It is 21. So this number must be divisible by 8. Next number is 3,168. Again, the number formed by the last three digits is 168. This is divisible by 8. It equals 21. So yes, the number is divisible by 8. Next number is 1,272. The number formed by the last three digits is 272. Check whether it is divisible by 8. Yes, 272 is divisible by 8. It is 34. 
So the whole number is divisible by 8. The next number is 5,928. The number formed by the last two digits is 928. 928 divided by 8 is 116. So yes, this number is divisible by 8. Next number is 9,020. The number formed by the last three digits is 20. 20 is not divisible by 8. So the whole number is not divisible by 8. The next number is 63,154. The last three digits form the number 154. 154 divided by 8 it is not divisible by 8. So this number is not divisible by 8. Another number is 63,152. The number formed by the last three digits is 152. 152 is divisible by 8. So the number will be divisible by 8. So friends, we have learned that any number that has more than three digits can be checked for its divisibility with the number 8. If the number formed by the last three digits is divisible by 8. And yes, for all numbers that have one, two, or three digits, you need to check with actual division to see whether or not it is divisible by eight. So we have learned the divisibility rules for five, six, and eight.